So you guys came all the way from Denver, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. Did you guys come just now? No. Okay. We, we were here for a sales conference. Oh, nice. What do you guys do? Uh, mortgage. Mortgage. Mortgage yeah. lenders, originators? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's a good industry to be in right now. Well, let me get in the housing market. Yeah. You guys are probably busy. Yeah. Busy gotta, buying Rolex. We gotta take some of our co workers <laughs> out there. I told you to go check it out first. You guys had a, what was it, a tag Carrera the other day? Yeah. I DM'd you guys about the red one, the red strap. Yeah. The, yeah. Said, you guys said it sold. I yeah. was thinking that's a, that's a deal. Yeah, so it, was it was a good like deal. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. What, uh, what's your all surprise point for a watch? I'm not buying Just anything. Just looking today. Just looking. But thank you. But like down the road, like, what would be your kind of price point? I, the first watch I'd really want to buy is the, uh, like the two-tone Daytona. Two-tone Daytona. What I would recommend uh, for thirteen dollars to $15,000 range, I would 100% get a ceramic sub. I mean, it's a, it's okay. a safe investment. I mean, they don't go down in value. That's like the newer one. Yeah, right? yeah. It, or, or an older ceramic sub. Either way, you can't go wrong. Okay. Um, this one's not ceramic, is it? No. no okay. This is more of something like a connoisseur or somebody kind of like really knows what they want. They'll buy something like this. Because it's, okay. you know, kind of like... Five digits. Um, yeah, five digits. Um, this watch right here. This is a no date, but um, it's a new one. I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. And what does this start at? Uh, around that price point. That one okay. is 14. All right. Yeah. Right yeah. So what's the difference? I'm, I'm, I know it's the bezel. So what they right? did on the newest one, they sort of like slimmed down the, the lugs a little bit. They put the new 72 hour movement in it. Um, they've kind of just redefined the watch a little bit. They've made the bracelet slightly wider. The buckles are just ever so slightly wider. Um, other than that, it looks exactly like the older reference, just a little bit more defined. What's that? Is that a 1-1? One -one? Apparently we do have one two. Oh, it is okay. okay. This is, oh, this is, that's what I would recommend. Wait. Yep, it, yep that's, 41. that's a watch, like if that's your only watch, you can do just about anything with it. You yeah. can wear it with a suit, you can go swimming with it, you can sport around in it. Is we check out some of the riches? So the only difference here is just the date and the no date. Uh, he's got the RM on. Okay. Yeah, same year and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. That's a really awesome. I mean, they're both awesome watches. Mm -hmm. What's the price difference? Uh, you're looking around fifteen hundred dollars to get to a date. Yeah. Which you should do, right? In the sense that it's you, totally your. It's you know, it's right. up to you and how you um, style yourself if you want. Some some people just don't like the date bubble. I'm saying style. more as a. Uh, What's it called? Investment idea. You, like, they, they both they go up yeah, together. Yeah. Okay. So one's just a little cheaper because it doesn't have the date. Yeah. But they'll they'll you know they'll move together in price. Okay. Can I check out this paddock over here? Yeah. Which one? Oh my God. <laughs> the case back is really nice too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a sweet piece. It's insane. It's so heavy. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's nice. Wow. There, I don't want to... Do you want to get a close? Yeah, I'm not touching. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to deliver, uh, I can offer you this. This gets about 130 channels. Okay. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit. Now, if it stops running, it only gets about 60 channels. So, yeah. so this is a stand one. That right? reference that you were saying? One, two, six, six, one. one two, yep. That's cool. Yep. So this is, has that LB because the desert is blue. <clears throat> so this one's LA. This is black. L. LV, v, which would be green. Yeah. No, I'm just telling yeah, yeah. it's a different one. So uh, this is LV. Uh, I see. So this is white gold. Wow. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe how heavy this is. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Where's your platinum Daytona? It's up there. You want to see a heavy watch? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is the one that oh, I thought Howard said that. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was wondering what the heaviest watch in the world is. That'd be an interesting topic. Ask Arnold. This is insane. What's that one? Vintage stuff. Uh, so this one now is about like 150 to 155. Jeez. Um, and just what was it like two years ago? Um, 75. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. 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 What's your favorite one in here? In here today? Oh, that would say this one. It's not really like. 
anything crazy special. But it, I mean, it is special, but it's not like crazy in regards of like what you could see. You know? But it's like a, it's a guild doll, GMT. I've never seen a thing like that. Yeah, so this is what's called the riveted bracelet. They did that in the 70s. Okay. So if you wanted to size this watch back in the day, you would actually have to break those rivets off. It was a pain. I had to had to do it. Yeah. So they quickly realized they could do it to a different system. But this watch is, um, they made it for one year. It's got what they call the exclamation now. So I'll, t I'll tell you about it. It's really cool. Um, so if you see right there, there's a little dot right underneath the six o'clock marker. Oh yeah. And it's the only one that has the dot there. So it kind of looks like an exclamation mark. Oh, I see. see. Yeah. yeah. So they That's call it cool. the exclamation doll and they're highly sought after just because of that feature and the fact that it's from the sixties and so on. That it's, it's like, you know, it's very, is that the original band then? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Everything's original on it, except maybe the insert might be a little bit later. But other than that, it's a pretty sweet watch. Yeah, that is. Keep in mind is the state date. Because I think this is this is my favorite yeah. Rolex of all time. That to. dial is you don't have super to, but cool. Just like, what is yeah. that dial? Yeah. So this is a meteorite dial with uh, baguette hour markers. Wow. Um, so the reason why this is my favorite is because all your focus is just on that dial. Oh, right. Yeah. When you look at something like, I don't know, this one where your focus is on the dial, the bezel, and kind of like the design of a lot. This turn, one. Turn the, switch me. This one it has such a simple design, being a day date, but the dial is very complicated. So all your focus is just straight on that dial. That's yeah. why I love this one right here. This is my favorite Rolex of all time. It's yeah, weird. It's simple. Awesome. It's. I think it's cool. That is. And every single meteorite dial is different. You can never have two of the same. What are they made of? Uh, meteorite.